guys, um, this is Alan from Firstly Financial. How are you today? So, well, um, the thing is that um, I've been talking about a, uh, a range of um, similar strategy all the way and um, I'm actually running out of idea on what strategy that you guys might be interested in and I'm just hoping that um, you guys can tell me what kind of strategy you want to know or what kind of um, knowledge of binary option you want to know about. So um, just put a comment down there and then let me know what you want to know more about in binary option trading and uh, well, um, anything is fine, um, emo emotional control, risk, uh, risk and uh, management and um, any type of strategy, just let me know and then um, I will go through all the requests and then try to make the, um, the 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 video that you want to watch and um, the explanation that you want to know. So uh, well, anyway, for today, uh, we will get back to one of the strategies that I have been left out for a while, which is the um, the parabolic with the MACD. So um, well, the parabolic is actually one of the um, easiest um, indicator out there that for you to spot the signal for bullish and bearish uh, movement so um, we will take a look at the strategy and see whether you find the strategy uh, st strategy useful or whether you want to try it out so uh, well anyway let's try to set up the indicators first okay so well let's go to the um, indicator click on indicator then we will select the parabolic we will click on parabolic and we open the drop down for parabolic as well. Okay, so well for here we're using a 0 0.05 and 0 0.1 parameter. So again, step is 0 0.05, max is 0 0.1. So um after you get this down, we can move on to the oscillator. And we choose the MACD. Let's tick on MACD. Then we just open the drop down for MACD, then we go to parameter. The parameter we're using for MACD is 5, 35, and 5. So again, EMA1 is 5, EMA2 is 35, signal is 5. So um, now we have both indicators set up, then we can close this window. Okay, close it. And uh, well, the last thing as usual for chart period, uh, we're using a 10 seconds chart and then to trade with 30 seconds option. So um, again, chart period is 10 seconds, option period is 30 seconds. So uh, well, let's talk about the strategy a bit here. So this is a trend following strategy. So first we need to identify the market is in the trend market. So in here we see that, well, if we look at the candlestick, we know that the, um, the, the candlestick is actually heading downward overall. But then if you are not so good at um, telling the market movement by looking at the candlestick, we can actually take a look at the MACD. You see now the two lines of the MACD are both believe, uh, beneath the, um, the zero line or the baseline. So we know that the price movement is going downward overall. The, um, the bearish uh, movement is actually dominating the market. So downward movement is strong, so we will look for um coming to open a low position and if we look at the, the um parabolic we, we we can actually see that the um the red dot is actually um in the um represents a downward movement and a blue dot um, represents a bullish movement which is an upward movement so during a downtrend we will aim for where the red dot appears so we will look for a um a upward movement to change into a downward movement and then we'll, we'll use the MACD as a confirmation to place a trade. Okay, so now I place a trade here. So you see um, the parabolic change from blue to red. So that means that the upward movement is now changed to a downward movement. Then if we move on to the MACD, we see the MACD crossover and then I have a purple histogram. So um, this is a bearish indication as well. So both signals tells me that the price, uh, the market is going down. That's why I placed my trade here. So um, now the trade is ending in profit. So uh, well, I 
think some of you might be wondering why am I using the similar strategy every day and then uh, why I don't just change my indicators and use different strategy. So the thing to me is that well there are a lot of different strategies out there but then um, the one that really actually works is only a few ones and then um, I tried out different strategies and then um, I noticed that the one that I'm showing here is the one that actually works. So um, that's why um, I've been stick, I've been stuck into for a f for the few particular strategies for my daily trading. So um, that's why um, I haven't been trying out different strategies. But if you guys want to know different strategies, let me know, and um, I will do a few tests, and then um, if it works, I will um, show it up here. So um, just put a comment down there to let me know what strategy you might be interested in so um, I can try to make it into a video for you. So uh, well anyway take a look at this price here. So um, this price what we see the if we look at the candlestick it's heading downwards so and if we take a look at MACD the two lines are both below the zero line the baseline so we know that the downward movement is strong here, the market is in a downtrend, so all I'm waiting for is just for the parabolic to turn red and then I need the MACD to give me a purple histogram. So if both um, signals are matched, then I will open a low position here. So I'll uh, just wait for a little bit, so um, I'm thinking it's gonna have a red dot soon, so you see the price is dropping down. So okay, so now a red dot comes out. So I'm waiting for the MACD here. So if the MACD turns purple, the histogram turns purple, I will open a trade. So uh, yep. Yeah. So that's why I opened the trade here. So a blue dot in the parabolic and a purple histogram in the MACD. So that's why I opened it my trade here because um, both indicators are giving out a bearish signal that's why i think there are more chance for the price to come down so that's why i opened up my trade there and yep well it's really close but um still ended in profit so um okay so uh let's take a look at the history so go to history and trade history okay so well um two trades and uh, both of them end in profit so uh, well, again, um, if there's any strategy you guys want to know or a particular topic like a emotional control or risk management, just uh, put a comment down there and um, let me know what you guys want to know and then, um, I can explain it to you more in detail in my videos. So um, just let me know by putting a comment down there or if you do have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment as well. So uh, well, thank you for watching. Um, if you guys like my video, give me a like and give me a well, uh, subscribe to my channel for more live trading video. And I will see you guys soon again tomorrow. Bye!